Hi everybody! Happy Sunday! Today I'm going to show you how to upcycle and decorate some tubs such as butter tubs or ice cream tubs, maybe a cardboard shoe, shoe, shoe box, sorry, or anything else that you can find and you can upcycle. So let's start. So here I have a simple butter tub. The first thing I do is I use chalk paint which is very good this one is white and it's low on chalk paint it's a very thick chalk paint very thick so you can cover quite a lot of the writing on your tubs it's quite a thick paint now what I usually do is I paint the first time and I don't put too much paint on it if it becomes a little bit thick, dip your brush into a bit of water and then that'll make the paint go a little bit thinner. Okay, so just the top, as you can see, you can still see the writing, but that's absolutely fine because we're going to put two or three layers on the plastic tub. So there we go. Let's do the bottom, just a thin, a thin layer will do and then you have to let it dry thoroughly. It's better to do a thin layer, let it dry, put another one on and maybe a third one, your box will be better covered. And because this is chalk paint, it doesn't always cover on, with the first layer. Okay, so very quickly, if you haven't got chalk paint, you can use acrylic paint. But I, what I would do then with acrylic paint for it to stick better, I would sand the box a little bit down, a bit of sandpaper, and it will make the paint stick a bit better whereas with chalk paint you don't need to do anything it will stick to the box okay but there we go so now i'm going to let that dry it takes about 15 minutes okay and uh, here's one i made earlier so i've painted that three times and as you can see it's quite covered all right now to decorate it you can use anything you want but I want to decoupage today decoupage means you get some pieces of scrap paper and you put some glue on it so I've got PVA glue here which is very good for de decoupage I'll put some in a little uh, tub okay let me find my other brush. There we go. Right, and what you need to do, you need to put a layer of glue, PVA glue, on the top of your box here. Make sure everything is covered. Okay. Again, not too much, just enough to glue your piece of paper. Now, I think I'm going to use one of these pictures here. And they are from the paper napkin. So if you're using a paper napkin, what you need to do, I'll show you, is, let's say, this is my paper napkin I might want to use and you will see it is quite thick so you've got to take off the layers of paper and usually there are three layers of paper if the last one is a bit difficult to take off what you do get a bit of sellotape okay this is magic and get the back of the paper Stick it 
and see how it comes off. There we go. And then you left wave. Oops, just the top layer. If you don't do that, it's not gonna stick properly. Alright, so you see the paper napkin that I can use later, and then I've got this one here. I think it's really cute. So I'm going to stick this on there. I'm going to cut it up first. Now you can tear it, you can cut it up. I'm going to cut this one up. And the scissors are not the best today. Let's swap them. Okay. So let's cut this nice little picture. Voila, and let's stick it onto a box. There we go. Put a bit more glue because, because I've talked so much, the glue might have dried a little bit. And then you've got to be careful because this is really, really thin, fine. Okay, and then what you do with your brush. You go over your picture gently with some of your PVA glue. Okay, and don't worry if you can't see the picture because this will dry completely clear. But just be careful because it's very, very fragile. Okay. It looks good already. Very old vintage. I like that. Right. So that's for the top, I might do the sides after. And I'd leave it a bit more of tissue paper there. Right, now, for the rest of the box, I think I'm going to use a stamp. And I've got a stamp here, I quite like this stamp. It's all writing. All right, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to get my stamping pad. Where are you? Stamping pad? Here you are. Okay. And I'm going to randomly stamp my box. Okay. Very randomly. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Voila. Maybe a bit more at the top there. Okay, I'm gonna go all around the edges actually. I'm gonna take this off here. There we go. Just randomly, if you've got a bit missing, doesn't matter. Go back on it. There we go. Okay, put a bit more here. Need a bit more here. Nearly done. And a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. There we go. Now, if you've got some matte blacking, get the wet wipe. We'll come off. Made a bit of a mess here. And there we go. Now I might, this is quite cute, I might take this stamp, yes, and just on the edges do a bit of stamping so it blends a little bit. There we go. Okay, and there we are, our first decorated litter box. Now, when the stamp is dry, I usually put some more of that PVA glue on it, and then it will seal it. 
and it won't come off. I need to make it nice and shiny as well. So there's the first box. Then you can put bits and pieces in there. Anything you want. For my second one, I thought we could maybe recycle this lovely box here that I've got from somewhere. There was a label on it, and what I did is I just painted the label so it's all the same colour. And then very simple, I've got this paper. It's called Deco Mashi. I've had ages, I've never used it. It's very, very nice. As you can see, quite French. And I've got I might just cut a bit like this and stick it on again with you with your glue. So let me just roughly do this so I can cut it to size. Scissors here. Voilà. Bit fiddly pieces. Where was it? Here. I'll get there, I'm sure. It's clumsy today. Wow. Not very straight. There we go. Get the box again. Get your PVA glue. Plaster your box with your PVA glue. All across the box. And we do the same. We stick our paper. What's it called? Papier mache? Deco. Oh, it's too short. Oh la la, never mind. What have I done? Here we go. Get the bubbles out. I know what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter. I have got something for the edges. Oh, see, that's what happens. That's what happens when you're not careful. And you go too fast. Put some glue on top of it. Now what we can do is, because this one is like that, I'm going to cut it with the picture. Look. It's so thin or fine that paper that it does rip very easily. But I'm rushing here. There we go, look. Nobody will notice the difference. It just melts in the background. Well, hey! Voila. So I'm going to let that dry. And I think somewhere I have got some black black um, trim here so I can stick with my glue gun some black trim I'll really show you when it's finished completely so that's my second one now you could put some stamps here if you wanted to as well but I think once I've got my black trim on the side here 
it to look absolutely fine. So that's my second one. My other one I thought is a nice clean tub. Yeah. So the same, I've painted it three times. So it's nice and covered. There is a bit of colour coming through here for some reason. Sometimes that's it happens, but it's not any writing, so you won't see that. So that's fine. And I think I'm going to do... Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I didn't even have to paint it, really. I'm going to decoupage this with some music notes. So you randomly cut some pieces of paper. This is what I like. It's very simple. Okay. And you're going to start put again put some glue on your box and just randomly glue the pieces of paper here upside down it doesn't matter right and always put your glue back on top of your paper okay Carry on. On the nip. On top. And so on. I like it. You could use old pages from a book. Right. And all around the box. Oula, pardon. My paintbrush is very wide, big. And then all across. A bit more glue, and so on. I'm not going to do the whole box because you're going to be bored. So it's just to show you, all right? So that's the kind of things you can do. Once it's finished, it's gonna look really nice, all right? Um, at the top here, I think I will get another napkin. I think I'm gonna use this one I was telling you about before. So I'm gonna rip this. I don't want it nice and neat and straight. Okay, rip, 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 be careful, there you go, I'm going to rip a bit more, rip on the side here, and then rip at the bottom. Do it. Right, again, get your PVA glue, plaster your tub again with your PVA glue. Okay, and then stick your paper napkin on your box, and then again, gently gently go over your paper napkin with your PVA glue and if you've got a few uh, I don't know what it's called uh, not tear but if it's a bit too big here just get it off it comes off with the glue all right I quite like that so basically 
there we go another tub that's covered in no time and you've done your little bit for the environment you've upcycled some plastic boxes okay so here's one yeah i've got another one this is just stamped with a picture on it this is another ice cream tub that i made with some stamp all around it right and then here i have painted this this is a shoe box with chalk paint green chalk paint and i have just stuck some decoupage on it and a bit of a doily here, right? Made it a bit aged with the distress ink. And then here's another one, which is another shoe box. You can see I've done loads of decoupage around this one. It didn't take me very long. Music notes and things from books and some serviettes or napkin again. And there we go, another box that you can store loads of things in. And again, upcycled. So I hope you like it. If you like all my boxes and my tubs, please give me a thumb up. Happy Sunday! Au revoir!